You mentioned removing mercury fillings. Mm -hmm. That can be dangerous. If someone wants to do that, what are some of the things that, that they need to know and what are some of the uh, safer ways to get that done? Um, first of all, as I always recommend to all my patients, is to do your research. Mm -hmm. Don't take my word for it because it's there. The federal government is loaded with research. That's mm -hmm. where I did all my research. Okay. Yeah, the CDC and um, Agency for Toxic Substance and Disease Registry. That's where I started because mm. I wanted to, to see what they had to say, you know. And then I called the, the, the ADA and spoke with the head toxicologist. And, um, you know, so I, I went right to the top. I wasn't going to mess around. I wanted to know the truth, and, and that's where I found it. So that's where, where I had gotten all my information and so that's what I would um, want somebody to do. I want them to go and understand fully what they're, they're I'm all about informed consent. Um, so you're required to, to look and read the website. Um, we have uh, booklet, you know, books. Um, there's a ton of uh, books on, on the web. So educate your, yourself first and foremost before running out. Um, choosing a dentist to do it properly, I would say that that's going to depend on the state of health of the individual. Mm -hmm. I would not recommend a traditional dentist by any stretch of the imagination. I'm talking about a biological versus a holistic dentist. Mm -hmm. um, if you're, uh, I mean, you, you really uh, need to have the nutrition addressed. You need to see where you're at. You need to see if you're excreting or not. You know, you can tell that by a blood chemistry or the biofeedback machine. Um, the one thing that um, we have to understand and, and what you have to or what I try to impress upon people is that when we shut the faucet off, you know, the body's going to go into a natural detox. It is going to start to release the stuff. And um, the problem is, is that the body's not prepared to handle mm -hmm. all of what's coming from the fat from the organs, from wherever it's hiding, into the bloodstream to be excreted. If your kidneys are a little weakened or your liver's not functioning, you don't have a high sulfur content, you, there's a lot of things that go into it. So you want to make sure it's, it's, it's not so much, uh, I shouldn't say that, because it's equally as important to make sure that you remove it safely so you don't get an acute exposure. Mm -hmm. um, but I think start with the nutrition um, one way or the other. And I mean, I hear people say, oh, I'm healthy. Oh, I'm, I'm a vegan. I'm healthy. I'm like, show me your blood chemistry and the biofeedback. And then I'll, then we can say that mm -hmm. because a lot of us are not aware of what we are absorbing and what we aren't absorbing. Um, if you have anything, if you have any ache, any pain, any memory problems, you should be able to get up every day like you did when you were 18 years old. I don't care how old you are. And if you're not, then there's a problem. And that can be fixed. So um, barring any um, huge amounts of medical interventions, mm -hmm. I mean, if they've got to you first, you know, then it's kind of harder to, to, to turn it around. But um, otherwise, I think that you can, you can get back to health. Um, so first, um, you have to do the research. Second, pick a dentist that's going to look at everything, not just uh, remove the amalgam safely. They're going to address the entire safety issue of the office. You know, a lot of these doctors stopped using amalgams, but their offices are still intoxicated. Mm -hmm. um, so just walking in there, you're getting a breath of fresh mercury, you know. So um, if, they're, if they're not equipped with, with special suction, that's venting it to the outside and the waste water is being um, carried to a special container, um, I would choose to go somewhere else because their office is definitely intoxicated, which is what I learned um, in my research too because it goes into all electrical devices, your computers, your TVs. So you, the minute you turn mm. those on, you get a burst of mercury first thing in the morning. Mm. So, um, and then throughout the day. And sitting in front of a computer dissolves mercury fillings. I mean, it really, it's, really? it's a tragedy.